All right, welcome back to Black Lodge Trivia Night's run through the book quests of Lord of the Rings Online. We are currently... Where are we currently? Carry-alls. Carry-alls help organize your inventory by storing specific types of items. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. I'm sure I should take advantage of that. I'll probably forget. Although, you know, my bags are such a mess that it might be worth doing. Um, anyway, we're here, we're doing book 11, chapter 7 in volume 1. Uh, we're in the Troll Shaws. We've uncovered maybe the treachery of little old lady Sarah Oakenheart. She has walked off with the Palantir and uh, was doing a bunch of stuff with it in Numenas, and now she's taking it here to the Troll Shaws. And uh, we're trying to track her down. Uh, we're, I think we're trying to find, uh, yeah, it says, uh, Candleth has told you of two locations in Tal Bruin and that possess an unsavory air, a set of ruins called by the elves Desolad, and the home of the wood trolls at Aaron Singor. Two of her scouts, Mueldeer and Levanthir, are investigating these locations, and she's asked you to consult them for guidance. Okay. I think we're looking for... I think we're looking... Well, Sarah Oakenhart doesn't... She goes by a different name now. Um, one of these places is basically right below us. So let's undo those for a second. The question is, can I... Is this simply... Femur shattering, or is this death? I don't think I could get into the water. If that would help. So, okay. Let's make our way down. Again, the troll shaws, I think I was mentioning last time, always sort of confounded me a little bit in terms of navigating because of the elevation, the three-dimensional aspect of it, which <laughs> if you've been watching any of the Elden Ring Shadow of the Air Tree, something that seems to trip me up a lot. Uh, two-dimensional maps conveying three-dimensional geography, and uh, yeah, it doesn't work out very well for me. We're at level 46, inching towards the halfway point to level 47. I'm assuming because this one is right here that it's definitely not the one we want. Is it above me? Surprise pipe weed. Um, I'm gonna grab this, but I don't know what the point is. Again, I'm just looking for. Yeah, okay. Maybe I was. <laughs> Going back to my earlier point about how I can't read maps, maybe I was misreading the map. They just announced a, um, they just announced a new expansion for this. Here's the Vanthir. The troll, uh, wood trolls of Aaron Singor have not reached the size of their northern cousins. Will, will you lend me your ear? It's a pleasure to meet you, Black Lodge, but it must be an urgent errand to bring you this far into the wild. Oh, hold on. <laughs> You'll excuse me, I need to murder. This worm. 
Okay. What was I saying? I must confess to you that I've seen no sign of this ring you seek, but the wood trolls make lengthy exploration difficult. There is an unsavory air about the place, and the presence of an evil relic might serve as an explanation for it. There's a cave beneath Erin Singor called bar e Threshir, Threshir, and I believe that the unpleasant air that hangs over the land here comes from that cave. Uh, it must be searched for any sign of Narku, Narquil. This will be no simple feat, for the cave is the home of Dag Taushaku, children of Taushak, who ruled the wood trolls of the north for some time. Look for them in the deepest chambers of the Bar e Thrakir and determine if Narquil rests within one of their chambers. Okay. So yeah, we're continuing to hunt down the uh Was the ring? she was looking for the Palantir. Maybe she found something about a ring. Maybe that's maybe I lost the thread a little bit. Um But yeah, they just announced another expansion for this, which is like they, they released a teaser trailer and it's like, you know, explore like Barad or Tharad or something. Um, teaser trailer showed uh, interesting. We've got two sevens going on here. I'm going to go to the east-southeast one first, I guess. Um. Yeah, it had some desert areas. You know, the teaser trailer, you know. You know, it was, it was pretty rote in a way. You know, it was just clips and then, like, you know, basic title tool effect to bring up some title cards to... You know, I think it was Harad or Barad. I don't, I don't know the areas well enough. It seemed like desert areas. I'm kind of curious if and when, you know, we get there. What is this all like? You know, as you get to the book quests, eventually, you know, you get to Mordor. Goodbye, horse. You served us well as we just ditch it in the bottom of a river. Um... I wonder what they will be like. Because so far, you know, it's been a lot of fun. It's been great. Uh, but once you're past the books and you don't have, it's just, you're sort of free floating. Do they have appendices or something to pull from? I, I really don't know. She was just talking about Angmarm have come to this area. Um, Wheeldeer is also pleased to meet Black Lodge. I saw you standing with Kalendith from afar, but I do not think you saw my distant greeting. The Angmarim came to Desolat immediately after they arrived, but as far as I know, they did not gain access to the deep places of the ruins. Their efforts to open the doors frustrated. They soon moved on to other parts of Tal Bruen, and you should ensure that the door is still secure. It has been for as long as I have known of it, and it will be a comfort to know that the Angmarim did not breach it. And if you would, Black Lodge, defeat some of the Angmarim that have invaded. They've moved their search to other ruins that are scattered throughout Tal Bruen Bruenen, but this is not a place for the Angmarim, and I would have them cast out. All right. So let's head into the ruins. Oh, immediately goes evil in terms of the lighting. Or is it just blocking out the sun? So it's kind of interesting. We're getting a lot of... Um, book 7 kind of... Is it book 7? Chapter 7 quest just sort of... Popping up. Uh, let me just... I'm just taking everything off because book quest is sort of unfolding into multiple quests. I just want to keep those locked in on the uh, on the list here. But yeah, you know, so I, you know, I don't um, K 
can't tell if there's sirens going on in the background. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a, I bought the lifetime membership either when the game was in beta or right when it came out. I forget which way I went with it. It was, it was really early on though. I know that. And, um, as I've joked, it's the best deal in gaming I've ever gotten in my entire life. Um, I've spent my, you know, cost per hour played is probably fractions of a penny at this point that, uh, I almost feel badly. Um, but so what I do is whenever a new expansion comes out, I buy it. The door looks secure. The Angmarum had not forced it open. Can I open it? No, you do not have the corresponding quest. I thought I was supposed to kill the Angmar in here. Anyway. And so I was happy to throw down coin. Now, I got to say, like, I don't buy, like, the legendary editions and things like that. Right now, I think, you know, what is the expansion called? I'm just talking about it like an idiot. Uh, Standing Stone Games. There's the receipt for my payment. But what is it called? Um, yeah, so I, I picked it up. Like, I don't, like I said, I don't get the, the extras. It's called Legacy of Morgoth. So basically, I'm just kind of curious, like, what does this mean? Like, once you get to these late expansions, Mordor is done. The events of the novels are, I assume, done. You know, how how is it, uh, how do they do when it comes time to keep the story going? Uh, whoops, I just banged a wire in my mic. I apologize. So I'm just, uh, I'm curious to see how it goes. I'm excited. The only part I'm not excited about, and I know I've talked about this before, is uh, jumping into Rohan with the with the new horse riding controls. But once I get past probably the few things I have to do there, and just get over it and never do it again, then I'll be excited to see where that goes. That's where I stopped with my my main that I got the furthest with. See the door is secure. I'm glad to hear it, though it means we are no nearer to learning if Narquil is hidden somewhere behind it. The key to that door has surely been lost to time, and I do not doubt that if the Angmarum believe Narquil does lie within Desolad, they will seek to force the door open before long. Did Candleth give you any other sites to search for clues? The door of Desolad may, per uh, may purchase us some time in which to find Narquil, if it is hidden at some other location in Tal Bruenin. If it is within Desolade, I must admit that I am at a loss. Even if we could somehow gain entrance to the sealed ruins, how could we remove Narquil without alerting the Angmarum who patrol Tal Bruenin? Well, let's see what we got to work with here. We got a light hat. Got a knife that, um... Again, seems like a lateral move. And then we've got a rune storm. So we got eight, five, eight take the rune stone and sell it all right been playing a lot of Elden Ring uh, Shadow of the Earth Tree. I was like oh let me just fast travel to that horde nope can't do that it's not like you can just jump to a site of graze It's gonna take a little while for them to come out because I, you know, I don't want to just completely dump everything like a like, a, like an attention-seeking desperate person um, onto YouTube all at once. Uh, but yeah, Shadow of the Erd Tree is actually I, I've beaten it. Um, it's all done. I uh, I did my run without. Googling too much. There are a couple things I had to Google because I was just like, I don't know how to figure out how to get to this entire section of the map. Once I got past that, though, uh, the rest of it I kind of just did as I found it. And I missed... Um, and, and so I, I, I finished it up, and then once I was done, 
Behold, Aaron Singor, from whence the creatures we call wood trolls. Um, okay, so I need to... <sighs> and, uh, so yeah, there was one sort of... In the main run, there was a... Uh, I, I end it, and I'm like, you know what? I'm sure there's stuff I miss, but I've beaten all the bosses that I, I know of on my own. And I'm going to walk away. And I'll start Googling stuff. I'm going to do that off camera. Um, oh, right. Let's go up this hill. And then also let's turn around and see how many things are chasing me. So then afterwards, I was like, okay, now that I'm done, done for real, I'm just going to start Googling, like, the obvious, like, what did I miss? And I missed two, like, mini dungeons. Um, not mini dungeons. They're, you know, pretty extensive. One was a castle I actually came to, and I basically said I'll come back to this later and then forgot. So that's on me. Another one was uh, just an entire like dungeon that I just I don't know if I just missed it. I don't know how I missed it because when you when I finally got to the front of it, I was like, oh my god, this is huge. <laughs> uh, maybe I just assumed. Oh, you know what? It might have been. There's these creatures in the game that are sort of like an insta kill if you fail the stealth around them. And uh, I thought that was really tedious and obnoxious, and so I probably just was like, I just want to get around and get out of here as fast as possible because this is dumb. Uh, so that very much probably made me not look too closely. So I went back and hit those two dungeons up, and so now I've definitely, as far as the DLC is concerned, beaten a lot of the obvious bosses with remembrances and like stuff like that so other things I could do is you found the entrance to bar E blah 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 what lies within you I, I could like hunt down the like scatter tree fragments and stuff like that but I, I don't need them because who cares Uh, but there's things like, you know, amulet medallions, there's uh, spells, weapons. If I wanted to, I could also do that for the main game as well. Go back to the original area, because there's tons of, like, tiers and stuff I could just hunt around and pick up. I know one thing that I could do is also go to New Game Plus, but... Um, That holds less appeal to me than... Um, than just sort of picking over the carcass of the map to see what's what I missed. Uh, just because... Once I start over, I'm basically like running the circle again, right? Obviously, that's the whole point. With this, I'm still hunting and pecking around and finding the new stuff. And then I get to take that with me into a new game plus if I ever wanted to do it. Why am I not? Let me see one thing real quick. On It's a technical thing on my end. One sec. Okay. I had my mic arm positioned in a way that I was kind of bumping into it with my fingers when I was touching the keyboard, so I wanted to reposition that, but this mic has a little bit more handling noise, so I wanted to mute for a sec. Again, in my ever... Alright. Southwest Chamber reveals no sign of Narquil's presence. Here's Dag... Twashok. Taushok. Alright, he's going to be signature. Let's do this. 
get some healing to start off. Maybe I'll get a shield, double shield. I probably can do that better with... Anyway, um, because again, yeah, I'm back to experimenting with mics a little bit just for fun, when I, which I talked about in the uh, Shadows of the Earth Tree stuff, but that probably won't come out for weeks. Um, I'm rec I recorded another, I've recorded now two Bookhouse Boys. I'm saying I can go this way, I just don't know. Maybe there's, like, again, three-dimensional. Um, I recorded two Bookhouse Boys. And I was using some new stuff to do that. And uh, I think they went... Visually, you know, the first one I you know made a mistake by forgetting the color balance. Not forgetting, but what I forgot was that you can go into a GoPro settings and color balance. So I did that. Um, what am I looking at here? Here we go. But the... I had a lot of hopes for... I have this Rode wireless mic. And I've seen, like, other board game YouTubers and stuff use it. And their stuff sounds pretty good. I don't know if it's, like, my mic placement. I don't know if i am got some kind of interference because of where I'm recording. I, I don't know what it is. But I did not like <laughs> how it sounds. So, um, and I'm a little disappointed because I was hoping for that mic to be part of a solution for getting back into recording and streaming war games, leaving me free to move around without worrying about mic technique. And um, that might not be the case. It's just. It doesn't sound amazing, but I wasn't expecting that from wireless, even though maybe that's not fair, because again, I've seen other people get their mics to sound pretty normal. Uh, there's a lot of noise, like a lot of Again, maybe I've got gain cranked up too high, but it didn't seem crazy. Um, the sound comes off really boxy, because maybe again, that's just mic placement. Because it's sort of under my, under my chin, you know. Sort of the mic's a little boxed in by my. I don't really know, um, but on top of that, though, I was getting like weird uh, distortion. Here's the other one. Nice. Like again, I don't know if it was like clipping. Again, you know. Again, maybe I am setting my gain too high, but it's not clipping in terms of my levels, but, um... Instead of clipping, it just gets, like, this weird distortion. And, uh, yeah, that's a bunch of stuff that's, like, I don't know if I want to deal with any of that. Um, so I've got to do a lot more research. You know, I can do better mic placement and get it out from underneath my chin... But then it puts it further away from my mouth. You know, blah, blah, blah. Like, little details like that. Uh, but somehow, people are getting good sound out of these things, and I'm not. Also, I gotta tell you, like, I don't trust wireless. I've never trusted wireless. That's how the government plants thoughts into my brain. But also, I just, it feels like it's, um... Look at that. Shield, uh, spear, shield, spear, spear, shield is not a combo for a, a warden. It's just the insane key presses of an idiot. Uh, yeah, like, just everything's better when you can go wired. Wired internet to your machines, wired, uh, wired mics. So I need to, I need to figure that out. 
because then what I would need is a wired mic that lets me still move around a little bit. Not, I don't have to move around a ton while I'm doing a war game, but I do have to move around a little. Uh, can I take this? Okay, so we've gotten this done. All right, let's go back and talk to let's break some legs. Keep breaking legs. So many broken legs. Again, another psychotic gambit chain because I'm not paying attention because these enemies are green and I'm taking them for granted. So I was looking at, actually, I was looking at shotgun mics. And I'm trying to figure out, like, do they give me the... You know what I'm going to do? Because I don't feel like... Do they give me the freedom to move around a little bit while still getting better sound? It'd be wired. You found no sign of Narquil. I am sorry, Black Lodge, but we may be able to take comfort from this. Uh, the Angmarim still search the cave, but we know now it is not found within. May their learning of this fact be slow. I am pleased that you defeated the dog Taushaku. I think it's Doc or Doc. Dog. For no good could come of their continued growth. Uh, Tao Shock himself caused a great deal of turmoil in Tao Bruenen before he found his way northward, and his children would likely do the same. I'm sorry your search here proved fruitless. Did Candela suggest any other likely sites? Choose one. A shield that's not as good as what we got going on. And armor that... Um, hmm. Feels like a sort of a lateral move. So I'm going to take the one that's worth more, which is the armor. Okay. Okay, we've completed book 11, chapter 7. Now let's go talk to Candleth. Is Candleth back up? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to research shotgun mics a little bit. Um, you know, as of the when I'm recording this. Oops. Okay. Amazon's about to have like a... Amazon Prime Day, so I'll just see if it shows up on sale by any chance, and if it doesn't, I'll figure it out. Or maybe, you know, I don't, I'm hoping I don't have to record too many more Bookhouse Boys for a little bit. We, um, we were trying to, eh, I don't want to fight you. I want you to live, goddammit. Um, we were trying to get some sessions, sessions in, and it's been a mess. And the whole idea behind Bookhouse Boys was that it was something we could put together without too much prep. You know, you, the idea is that you literally pull a book off your shelf and you talk about it. And uh, I never meant for it to be like a literal review of a, a tome of an RPG book. It was meant more to be just like a, uh, let's go through it talk about it, talk about why it's important to you, make it a little more personal. Um, I see a lot of folks, almost like they get the book and then immediately just plop it down on a table, almost like an unboxing video, and kind of call that a review. And um, the review feels more like an extended hand modeling unboxing of a book. Which, you know, has its use, if you're curious about what's in there. But if you're trying to figure out... But I wanted to give whatever it was a little more context. Um, or talk about it a little bit more in depth. So the first one was about M Space from Frostbite Books. Which um, is a sci-fi sort of sandbox traveler D100 kind of thing. An alternate, alternate to... The Traveler rule set, if you're looking to 
get into that kind of thing. And then the one that's going to be going up today, as of this recording, is for the Zozer Games Hostel setting, uh, which is another sci-fi uh, hostel. can be used with the Cepheus Deluxe Rules, which are a 2D6 system that are basically the continuation of Mongoose Publishing's first edition Traveler, which of course is their take on, you know, when they got the licensing rights to the classic, you know, 1977 Traveler game. Um, yeah, and Hostel is a setting for that, which is essentially the alien universe where you really dial back on the aliens and the engineers and all that kind of crap. Which, for me, I love. I love that idea. But it's just that, like, really dirty, gritty, they say, like, retro tech. All the monitors in the universe are monochromatic green screen CRTs. And it's just, you play blue-collar grunts, you know, humping through a work day. And basically, the crew of the Nostromo in the first Alien movie before the Alien shows up. That's, that's the game. And, um... I love that idea, and so yeah, I, I did a book house where I went through that a little bit. Don't give up, Black Lodge. I had thought Narquil might have been the cause of the troubling disquiet that hangs over Eren Singor and Desolade, but it was only a guess. Perhaps the ring does lie deep within Desolade, with no way to gain access to the ruined halls without also allowing in the Angmarim. We must trust to the locked door to, the, to delay them while we search elsewhere. But listen, another avenue has opened up. Will you lend me your ear? Okay. Completed book 11, chapter 7. We're into now chapter 8. I've been focusing on places around which travelers and my scouts have reported sensations of uneasiness and disquiet, such as the Wood Troll Grove of Aaron Singor and, or the Elf Ruins of Desolad. But that is only because it was the avenue I felt was open to us. The Angmarim have also been combing the Elf Ruins throughout Tal Bruenen, and until a few hours ago, I assumed that was because they had some information we did not. And yet, if this was so, why would they not focus on one place? If they knew Narquil to be hidden within Desolade, would they not devote all of their efforts upon it? I am sure they would, and yet they did not, which tells me that the Angmarim do not know the location of Narquil any more than we. One of my scouts, uh, Hidrenith, Hrennith, encountered a small company of Angmarim near the burnt-out remains of a cottage not far to the northeast of Akkad Kandaleth, the crumbled cellar, it is called. She defeated the Angmarim and sent word to me, asking if I knew any reason they would show an interest in such a trivial place. The answer is clear. They are searching everything they can in the hope that they find a clue, just as we have done, Black Lodge. I want you to speak with Hrennith and learn what you may. Okay, where are we going here? Okay, not too far. Again, if I knew I could survive, <laughs> I would just take a header and uh, get down there, but I don't know if that's the case, so. Probably, I don't know how I'm doing in terms of equipment. Let me just repair, sell, do a quick check in here. Uh, find skins, don't need this. Anyway, so it's been fun doing those and sort of, again, practicing different things and figuring things out, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but, you know, in part of doing it, you know, you don't get it perfect right out of the gate. Uh, the thing that's thrown me is the mic. So I've got to figure out what to do with that. Either I figure out how to do it, the, the book videos, maybe I could do with just a, a microphone in front of me like you know you do any video but that's not gonna work for streaming a board game and that's the ultimate goal and that's that's how this thing works right like it's all iterative you know I don't know anything about this stuff when I walk into it so I start by doing a ton of research online Google YouTube Anything I can find, reviews, written reviews, videos put up by Sweetwater, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And slowly but surely, you know, you learn little bits. 
So, like, now I feel like... I mean, you might be sitting there going, like, Sir, no, you haven't figured this out. But I feel like my microphones are EQ'd decently enough. Uh, I feel like the audio portion has been pretty... Consistent. I don't need it to be amazing. It's just it's not wildly all over the place. Here we go. I feel like when I add video to the mix, that's not looking like a total uh, truck stop toilet. So, you know, I figured out things on the post-production side that have sped things up. Just a lot of a lot of things like that, you know. You um, you iterate, you you learn, and so now I'm trying to figure out this next step, which is how do I allow myself some freedom of movement while getting decent audio? And I thought I could do a wired lav mic, but I'm worried that while that might fix some things, it might not fix the mediocre sound. Let's see, you've been awarded five, great, because of mic placement and things like that. Okay. How can I be of Candleth has told me of the tale, Black Lodge. Do you really think that Narquil, or some evidence to its location, might be hidden in Tal Bruenin? A small company of Angmarum was sifting through the debris of the cottage across the water over there. It is called the Crumbled Cellar, by Garber, Garbert and Afanin, who lived down the river, but I think it burned to the ground before Garbert's time. You should search through the rubble. I cannot imagine you will find anything of use, but if the Angmarum thought it was worth searching? And all this is because, you know, like, it gets me back to my film production roots, right? So that's the fun of it. I, once I spent some time on commercial sets, like being low person on the totem pole, I realized I hate being on set. So I wasn't going to really get a lot of time to do the production side of things unless I just finance the short film or something like that. So these kinds of things let me dip my toe back into that stuff where my livelihood in post-production you know takes care of you know that angle. So can I destroy these? I'm going to destroy them because I already have one. Um... find nothing. I wonder if I had done it in the opposite direction, would it have... Like, is it just programmed to do it on the last one, if there is anything? You find a rotted diary among the debris, but it still appears readable. Collected the rotted diary, let's bring it back. So yeah, I mean, that's, that's part of it, right? Like, this isn't just entirely a hobby. There are things about this that I studied and learned, and so it's nice to be able to put some of it into practice. But it's also partly a hobby, right? It's combining my hobby with the things I've learned. What evil purpose could have brought the Angmarum to Talbrun? Okay, you found this diary among the ruins of the crumbled cellar, Black Lodge? It's probably nothing, but I can see it. I'll see if I can learn anything from its pages. The name of this diary's owner is familiar to me and fills me with dread. Uh, did not Amartil use the name Sarah Okar? Oh, as she traveled on her fell errands through the wild. Okay, so Amartil is Sarah Okar. Okay, that's her evil name, Amartil. And yet, look here upon the cover. It is barely legible, but it can, may, can be made out. Sarah Okar. You must bring this diary to Candeleth, Black Lodge. This may be the clue for which we have sought. All right, here we go. Basically, I'm turning my old shoddy basement into a miniature nerd filming studio. We have a new basement, which has a lot more space, but um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to ever take that over.
my wife works down there. She uses part of it as her office. I actually said like I would like to go down there as part of, and make that part of my office. Um, but we held off on that because she knew then I would also take over everything else and start filming and whatever. And uh, she wanted to make sure the kids had that space available if they ever wanted to hang out with their friends. Which completely makes sense. Um, what do you need? What is this, Black Lodge? A journal? Can it be? I do not understand. Emma Thiel cannot have. There must be more to this riddle than we know, Black Lodge, for I am filled with confusion. But hearken to this. Brought two chickens to share with L, but his spirits were low, and I think the food brought him no joy. Understandably, of course. Keeping N within the walls of Sithad must be a great sorrow to him. Whoever Sarah Okart may have been, Amarthiel in disguise or not, it is plain to me of whom she speaks. Can L be any other than Lairdin, and or N anyone other but Narquil? We are close. I can feel it. The secret lies within this journal, friend man. The diary of Sarah Okart. Okart. Listen to this, Black Lodge. El fears the worst. I will carry out his wishes by breaking the keys to Sithad. The stones of Tal Bruenin are heavy and will serve and hiding them. I do not know where Sithad may be, but it sounds as if Lairdin was keeping this N, Narquil, within its walls. And at some point, Sarah broke the keys to this place and hid them. And look at this, further in. Must stand at the stairs of Sithad, looking up toward the entrance. Turn to the left and walk forward to the wall. And then turn to the right and follow the curve until you see four pillars through two pillars. Walk between the two and look to the right of the four. I will leave the keys always in the shade. I wonder now if Sithod is not an antiquated name for a place we already know, Black Lodge. Language changes over time, and Lairdin has lived for many years. The name by which he knows one place may not be that by which it is called by others. As I say the names aloud, it comes to me that Sithod bears something of a resemblance to Desolod, does it not? I think we have deciphered the first part of the riddle, friend man. The ultimate friend zoning. Uh, friend man. Um, go to Desolade and use the journal to locate the hidden keys of which Sarah has written. I am sure it is the place. All right, heading back to Desolade. That's all right. Now, having said that, you know, about the kids using the, the space, you know, my son's now off to college, so the chances he has much use this, for the space is kind of low. My daughter's, though, just starting high school, so she might, you know, if her friends want to go play a board game or something, I don't know. Or if nothing else, my wife and I can go down there and, like, <laughs> and eat some pizza or something if she's having friends over and watching a movie. Either way. It's just one of those things, because if you can, you know, figure it out, so to speak, it's one more avenue to talk about stuff. And that's always good. You know, having... Okay, nothing. Nothing. And that's really part of the fun, right? Like, again, once you figure it out, you don't have to focus on it.
like I said, it gives you one more way to uh, talk about stuff that might be interesting. I mean, th any of this is just if it's interesting to us, right? We, we have no other benchmark to start from. You know, we play systems that we want to play, but we hope that we can do it in a way that makes it have a value of some sort, someone who watches. When we discuss topics, books, RPGs, blah, 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 it's the same idea. Playing through this, um, you know, I did a, I did three videos to start, and the idea was, um, just to show that this game rocks and that the story is really well fleshed out early on especially and um, even though this game is old it does something that no other video game I think ever has ever done and um, some people who checked out the videos said you know we really hope you keep going which I guess surprised me in a way um, so is there some that I've missed? So yeah, that surprised me a little bit. and But I was happy to keep doing it. Um, because I've never gotten through all the book quests. I've always wanted to. And uh, if somebody else also wanted to but can't get to it, maybe this will at least give them some idea. So I feel like I've searched everything. Did I get that one in the back? Two in the back on the left. Maybe not. Okay. I think I got these in between the columns. And I think I got that one back there, but I'll double check. But then once you know you, you, and doing this was also partly to figure out like, okay, what's, um, let's get some more practice recording video game content. I think I got this one too. Okay, so I feel like I got all of them. Um, clearly I didn't, but I'm not sure which one I might have missed. Oh, here we go. But yeah, the interesting thing with Lord of the Rings Online is... It's a little unique to my setup because I have like an ultra wide monitor and I want to do a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Again, these are the types of things that you're like, okay, how do I. You can set it to say, I have a 1440p ultra wide monitor. So it's like 5100 something by 1440. So I go to a 2560 by 1440 resolution. Uh, but I do it windowed because I just to make it easier to, you know, still be able to use other parts of the screen. Lord of the Rings Online does not do a perfect 1440p resolution when it's windowed. Some games do, like Elden Ring will give you true 1440p resolution. Now, I lose a little bit because, you know, if you do something windowed, you have the program name and the bar. I don't know if there's a way to get rid of that. Lord of the Rings Online, you end up with a resolution that's like... 2560 by 1431 or something. Um, so if you go back and watch some of the early... 
the earliest ones, there might be a tiny sliver of a black bar on the bottom of the screen because I did not account for that. I didn't, it didn't occur to me that it wouldn't be the exact resolution that I set. So, you know, you find little details like that. So now I know that I set the recording window to be 2560 by 14, whatever. And then I record the video, but then you can scale the video to be a different resolution. Uh, and so then I scale that to the correct 1440p. And, you know, so it's little technical things like that that you learn. Uh, Star Wars Outlaw, when I streamed that, had a similar issue. Elden Ring does not... What do you need? Uh, let's see. I'm greatly heartened by your success and by my reading of the clues. I'm sure that Narquil is within Desolade Black Lodge, and one of the keys within this box will open the way for us. A jeweler of great repute lives in Imladris. Her name is Merilos, and she will be able to remake these keys for us. But be warned, she is stern and slow to befriend, and while she will certainly help us, she will likely ask for some service in return. Quid pro quo, Clarice. Um, she does not gift her work freely, for it is of great value and precious. Look for Merilos and Imladris at the spire of the meeting. Bring her this box of broken keys and ask her to mend them. I wish you good fortune in this. We're also going to deliver weed. <laughs> we're going <laughs> to... We're going to be the guy that works at Chili's that somebody knows that can get can get the good weed. Even though, I guess, in New Jersey now it's legal. Uh, you know what? I can probably... Uh, let me get that quest back. Is it Trollshaw's Surprise Pipe Weed. Let's get that on the list. And uh, we're not going to... Yeah. We're going to go to the Stable Master and hop a ride. Yeah, the Souls games are pretty good about doing a true 1440p, even if it's windowed. Um, so, I do appreciate that. It's almost like Lord of the Rings Online gives you... Well, it's, no, it's not 1440p. Like, it sort of gets close to the correct aspect ratio, including... Uh, not aspect, the resolution including the program name bar at the top. But, um, anyway. Or, like, you know, now that Elden Ring is done, for the on-camera portion, at least, uh, the recorded portion, you know, I've been thinking about what to do next, and I think I want to dive back into more classic RPG. So, you know, once that happens, then, you, again, you start thinking, okay, what's the game... Okay, I figured out the game. What's the best way to present it? Okay, because it's old, it's probably going to have a 4x3 four by three, three, four three resolution or something to that effect. And then, you know, sometimes I'll check out how other people have presented it on YouTube if they've done actual plays. And I'm like, okay. I like what they did with this. I think this part could be improved upon. And so I start thinking about that. Honestly, a lot of times, especially with old games, the part that can be approved upon is the audio. Um, a lot of people just record with, like, with a headset mic or, I don't know, maybe they're... I have no idea what. Um, that's why, like, when Josh, Josh Sawyer did his Darklands review, did he have his... Not review. He did a playthrough, and he might have been using headset. At some point, he switched to what looks like, like an Elgato or something USB mic, and his audio got way better, um, which is great because <laughs> I probably mentioned he likes to sing. I will be able to remake about half of these keys. The rest are completely beyond repair. Are you satisfied with this? Sure. Might you spare a moment of your time? So his singing comes through a lot better, um, <laughs> and it's not like he'll sing songs. What he'll do is he—it's sort of like an opera where. You're you're just singing the lines of you know his narration of what he's doing. He'll just burst into song. He's got a pretty, he's got a good voice, so it's it's not a bad thing. But um, but I can't remember the one I most watched the most of was Darklands, and I can't remember if um if he had switched to the better mic at that point. It will take some time to repair the keys, and if you'd be willing, you might be able to help me with a small matter. I gifted a number of fine gems to a traveler who possessed an interest in learning the finer points of Jewel Smithy. But he was beset by goblins. 
Though he escaped with his light, we might be going uh, north. Um, many of the gems were stolen by the creatures. Journey to Goblin Town, which lies within the High Pass, and return to me with a handful of these coveted gems. By that time, I shall likely have finished restoring the keys, and I'll be able to return the stolen gems to my unfortunate friend as well. Okay, uh, you will not find these gemstones in possession of goblins on the surface. They're in Goblin Town. Okay. Uh, let's let's drop off this pipe weed. Uh, we're doing a pipe, uh, a weed run to Elrond's house. House. I think we can kind of guess who this might be. There might be a little hobbit in there who, quote unquote, needs it for his glaucoma. So, you know, and then I, you know, I started doing a bunch of dark lands. I was never planning on doing the whole thing, but, um. There we go. I do want to sort of tie that one off with a bow a little bit. Uh, where are we trying to go here? Bring pipeweed pouch to someone in Rivendell. Not to stereotype, but let's try Bilbo first. Or Gandalf, the guy the guy uses weed. I can do for you. A barrel of pipe weed just lying by the road. I know that Pippin would bring a whole barrel of this stuff with him if he could, but I'm fairly certain he didn't on this trip. Just yesterday he did tell me of his own supply of pipe weed was running low, and I expect he would thank you for the pouch of it, despite the curious circumstances surrounding it. Okay. I don't know where Pippin is, though. Is he in the, like, the Great Hall? Guest chambers, maybe? No. Let's see, book 12. What are we in, book 11? Okay, so we're not quite there. Hall of Fire? Do they hang out here? Oh, Bilbo's here, too. Okay. Barber, Provisioner. Pippin, are they in the guest house? With like uh, Aragorn and Legolas? I don't remember seeing them there. Can't get in there. Probably not in Elrond's hall. I doubt they'd be in here, but let's... Is there stuff that we could dump in the vault that might be worth? How can I be of service? Like a bunch of this stuff? Can we just get rid of it? Uh, I feel like I have a lot more to sell. Why is this stuff not showing up? Well, that's fine. I guess that I lock that stuff off from being sold.
I don't know if I've ever been in this room. I don't... It doesn't look familiar at all. Like, some of these rooms... Oop. I don't come into often. But that one in particular... These rooms look like they're more decorative. Maybe they open up for some other reason. So, Elrond's library. What's, what's Elrond's hall? Okay, so I'm guessing Pippin's not in here. Although it's telling me to go in here. Um, let me just see. L O T O R Pippin Surprise. Uh, what's it called? Surprise Pipeweed. Let's see, quest, surprise pipe weed. Um, sounds like a bunch of people are all pointing towards Pippin. But I don't know where they are. Um, oh well. <laughs> One of the Google, like, what kind of pipe weed did, uh, did Tolkien smoke? Oh, well. Anyway. Uh, yeah, let me, I guess, run in there one more time. Because again, the, the map is telling me it's here. Is it, am I getting a ring anywhere? I don't actually care about this quest that much. I just thought it'd be fun. Now, if I go up a level, let me see if the map changes. It does not. Okay. I mean, could he be in Elrond's library? Doesn't seem like a place that a pipeweed fiend would be, but let's check it out. Because we're also talking about like Frodo, maybe. Samwise, they're all pointing to Pippin. Um. Primarily found in Bilbo's room in the last... Okay, but I just didn't... Maybe I just missed him. I thought it was just Gandalf and... Uh... And Bilbo in there at the time, but maybe I just missed it. I think Bilbo's room was on the first floor. Hall of Fire, Guest Chambers, Elrond's Hall, Bilbo's Room. There's Frodo. Okay, well... That's fine.
It wasn't going to be worth much XP, but it was going to be fun. Oh, wait, was there just a room I missed off to the side? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm bad at maps. Here we go. You found the pipe weed in a barrel by the side of the road. How strange and how lucky. My pouch is just about empty. I thank you for this, friend. I wouldn't worry too much about the mystery, though. The smoking of pipe weed must be catching on in all circles, not just those of hobbits or wizards. And why not? I'm going to choose... Sweetleaf pipe weed. There we go. Uh, now we're heading to Great North. I always like this part of uh, this part of Rivendell. It feels like maximum Rivendell. You know, this beautiful waterfall, the arch bridge going right past it, overlooking this beautiful valley. It's just anyway. I wonder what's up there. Imdolan. Oh. Here we go. Have you seen my brothers? They are aware in the wilderness, scouting for the enemies. Yes, I think I was doing quests for them. Hmm. All right. So just to give a little hint, without giving it away, I have picked the classic RPG, CRPG, that I'm going to do a run through. Uh, again, I was debating, do I put a bow on Darklands by doing one more quick session? Not necessarily to play it, but just to sort of, I don't know, wrap it up. So I, I left it sort of in the mid-run, realizing that I might have shot myself in the foot, and there might not be a way to salvage it without almost starting over in a way. It wouldn't be literally starting from scratch. 
you know, I have money, resources, stuff to get started, but, um, Did I not? The stable master there is blue. Usually that means you haven't talked to them yet. I thought I had. Although I haven't spent much time here. Yeah, I thought I had. But, uh, yeah, part of the fun is, so, and I, I spent some time yesterday sort of figuring out how I'll try presenting it at first. So that's kind of cool. Uh, where am I going? Goblin Town. Where is that? Thought it was up here. But I'm not seeing the entrance to it. So I want to get to Rimbarg. So let's see if we can fast travel there. Or am I in the wrong place? In the misty mountains northeast of Rivendell. Okay, I think I'm there. Journey into Goblin Town, okay, which I think is somewhere here. Okay, well, yeah, let's get to Rimbarg and go from there. Uh, let's see. No, none of those. Here we go. And then the fun part is I um because it's a game that I, I genuinely really like. I used to actually when I was a little kid I had some like I had a book about the making of it and I realized I lost it somewhere somehow. And so I've uh managed to reacquire that book. That book is coming today and it's going to be fun to sort of thumb through it. Part of the reason to do that is just, um, you know, so if I have to talk about the background of it, uh, I can also just because, again, it was, it was fun. So, looking forward to that. Done a little uh, Matt Chat research as well, so hopefully I can link to some of his videos in the show notes when it comes time. The trick is like, I could, I I've got um, you know things are already recorded and sort of scheduled out, and it basically lasts until the end of October. So that's disappointing in some ways because I like I'm really excited to try playing this game again. It might crash and burn, and it might suck upon replay. I don't know, but I'm I'm excited to give it a shot. Um, but it is a classic CRPG from the '80s. It's available on GOG few hints, not not a ton. And uh, yeah, I'm just, but it also gives me time to uh, not practice, but, you know, jot a few notes down, figure, figure a few things out before I just dive in. Now, is Goblin Town actually below me? Like, do you get into Goblin Town at the bottom of the mountain or at the top? Bottom feels like it makes more sense, right? Got 
Gashru. Mustering horn, yeah, is it there? Oh, there's Gloin, okay. mountain's throat. You know, again, I'm sort of messing around with this new mic. I thought I had it kind of worked out a little bit and um, you know, I'm running into the issue that I ran into before, which is with the similarly constructed mic is that it gets in my way more than the SM7B. It's less... Um, the SM7B because it's a, uh, a front address microphone it really gets out of the way of my eye line for most of the things I'm looking at. It's it's impossible for it to completely disappear because it's got to be relatively close to your mouth. But um, okay. This is a side address microphone, and. Um, Okay, it just continues. All right, got one gem, nice. I don't know if there's anything to finding the pages, but we'll see how far we get with those. get for this you get points uh, okay sometimes I feel like I should start looking into the the deeds that boost up stats uh, but just for like legendary experience and yada yada I don't care As you can see, like, we didn't spend much time here in the Misty Mountains. Uh, but Goblin Town is huge. It's a huge... As it, you know, as it should be. Uh, Bilbo's Buttons. Oh, did I get the gems already? No, I didn't. Okay. Was that a spider sort of? Oh, no, no. That's just somebody partially hidden. Oh, 
Okay, so I've got all the gems I need, I think. Let me just double check. So at any time I can piece out using this. Let's explore deeper into, because it's not gonna be any risk of dying in theory. Because these guys are dark blue, which means they're a level below us. And usually we're able to take on multiple levels above us, one on one, even two on one, three on one. So let's just dive deeper into Goblin Town and see how far we go. Let's, uh, let's see if we can bring all these people in. And let's uh, do the bull rush. Oh, here we go. Because that should damage all of them. Oh, I didn't fire it off. That's why. Okay. Okay, so now we're starting to lose a little... Uh, we're starting to gain dread, I should say. So we're getting deeper, and there's starting to be some... Is it this thing here? Usually I'd be whoops, hesitant to... Because then you got to make your way all the way back. But with these coins, it's a little bit less of an investment, of an investment. I wonder why I didn't hit both of them. Do they have to be both like in front of you, maybe? Again, level 46 on my second warden. I don't know how to play the class. <laughs> Let's see what happens if we bring these guys out. Looks like we might have hit a dead end. See if I head up top, does it get me across this bridge? That might be another dead end, but you can see this place is just huge. Another dinner. So you get the idea, right? We didn't really get to spend much time in Goblin Town, but you can see that, you know, everything about this game is just so well realized. What do you need? I thank you for this service, Black Lodge, for Goblin Town is a vile place and not easily traversed. That is true. Why well, I don't spend a lot of time there, because I get lost easily. My friend will be surprised and pleased that you've recovered the gems he thought he lost. And he is sure to learn much of jewel smithy by studying them. Uh, we're going to take... What do we got? We got a mace. It seems like we're sort of capped out on this damage level until we sort of get to the next... I don't know if it's 
legendary. I don't know what it is that, um, uh, what's this? Fill critical rating. That could be useful. Um, lower critical rating than the middle one. What about this? Uh, gem, put it in the pocket. Although the pocket thing we have gives us bonus on monster kills, which is fine. So I'm going to take the one that's the most valuable. That's 1182 to 8. So it's definitely this. Might you spare a moment of your time? I've done what I could, but about half of the keys were broken beyond repair or were missing their pieces. Return with these repaired keys to Callan, uh, Candleth and give her my regards. Would that I could have repaired them all, but know that I succeeded where most others would fail. <laughs> so say, oh, it's like a little bit of a humble brag. It's not a humble brag at all. It's just a brag. Um, it was not an easy assignment. Okay. Yeah, at the end of the day, like, you know, going back a little bit, the SM7B has proven to be the easiest. Once I figured out actually how to EQ it, which, again, maybe listening, you're like, you have not figured that out, sir. It still sounds like shit. But in my mind, what, I'm, what I've always said is I'm trying to get my mic to sound like what I think I actually sound like when you're talking to me in the room. So once I did that, and got it in the ballpark. Yeah, nothing's really come close. Because, um, you know, it gets out of the way. It rejects a decent amount of background noise. It, you know, if I have to move it, it doesn't freak out and convey every moment of that mic repositioning. Um, you know, it's just one of those things where, like, you know, you sort of, you, you get it. Um, right now I've been experimenting. I had an OC-18 from Austrian Audio. This is what I go into in the uh, Elden Ring, and I loved it. It was very expensive, and I felt guilty not using it all the time, even though there were some physical shortcomings. Not audio, but like I said, it blocked my view. So I found uh, its Sweet little idea. brother... The OC-16 grabbed that because I don't feel as guilty rotating it in and out of the uh, of the what of use. For you? Let's see, is there anything for the troll shaws? Uh, Lone lands, north down troll shaws. Can I get back to Candleth? Yes, I can. Um, so yeah, I've just been playing around with that, and you know, I think for what I'm doing here, like if you have to, you don't have to go with the. 18. You can get the 16 for, like, streaming, if, I mean, if you're gonna go that route. Um, it doesn't come with, a, like, a windscreen, so I'd highly recommend getting one. You can get a cheap one from Amazon. Uh, you just have to get one that's, like, the AKG 414 or something like that. If you look for windscreens, that'll fit that. I found, like, one for 12 bucks uh, that I was able to stretch over the, the mic. The AKG mics are similarly similarly shaped, although I think a little smaller. Anyway, or you can just get an official OC-18 one, but it's going to be expensive. You have returned. Was Merylos able to repair the keys as I thought she would? Mind my words, Excellent, Black Lodge. It is to be hoped that one of these keys will unlock the door that leads deeper into the ruin of Desolad, and we may recover Narquil hidden somewhere within. Return to uh, Wheel Deer, southeast of Akkad Kandaleth, and outside the entrance to Desolat, and tell him what's to be done. We have an advantage now over the searching Angmarim Black Lodge. I can feel it. Hurry to Wheel Deer, and you may return with Narquil. Uh, let's see, what are we going to take? Oh, I'm just accepting. We're not there yet. Okay. Chapter 12 of Book 11. Here we go. I was a slightly, maybe I, I'd have to, I, I was a little disappointed that the reporter store did not have, you know, they do really nice uh, windscreens in different colors for different microphones that are pretty typical. And like this SM7B, um, if you've ever seen it on camera, mine is green. I got it from reporterstore.com, I think, but I think they're from out of the country. So I need to figure out 
if I need to go to that store, I need to figure out what mics can I stretch their windscreens to fit. At the same time, like I said, this one I found on Amazon for cheap, they're all kind of the same. And uh, got it in blue. They did not have my preferred color of green. That's fine. Because none of this matters at all. What side of the river is this person on? Is it on... Maybe they crossed over. Were they on this side to begin with? Anyway. Um, yeah, so, but I... Maybe if I rotate it? I don't know. I don't know how much I can rotate it without changing the sound. Like, right now I'm sort of talking kind of into it. Um, maybe... Because if I get, you know, because that's what you do, you, you know, when you're, it's not that much, it's almost worse in a way. I was hoping it would block the keyboard less, but it actually just flattened it out right <laughs> into my eye line, so that's no good. All right. You've returned with the keys, and many of them have been repaired. The secrets of Desolade are within our Reach Black Lodge and Narquil as well. Are you ready to search within Desolade? Speak with me when you are prepared, and we may put our plan into motion. Pages of Sarah Opart's journal uncovered the ways into the ruins of Delosar, once called Sitha in Blighted Hills. The search for Nakwil has led here, but to what end? What have these ragged stones seen? I gotta say, they did a really good job of casting their uh, Gandalf. Obviously, they're going for the Ian McKellen vibe, and I think the guy does a great job. The sorrow. Harkin, Black Lodge. Many of the Angmarim that came to uh, Tal Bruinen are searching elsewhere, but some of them have returned to search the ruins. Defeat those that you find here and return to me before you search inside. I do not want them to see you opening the door. Okay. Okay, there's one. I wasn't paying attention. Was that guy just a level 50 or was that guy also a signature? Nope, just level 50. Okay. No, no, signature. Okay, because I was a little damaged and it makes me realize how much I have to pay attention. Like, get a little heal going, then maybe get a couple of stacked bleeds, then um, see where we're at. Is there one that's a shield, shield spear? I'll do this one just to get the bonus defense, but... Spear and shield, that's a quick boot. Spear and fist. Spear, spear. Okay. I guess it's going to be three up, three down. So let's head upstairs and see if we can find the rest.
Now, I don't want to spoil things too much, but I feel like we're getting near the end of this book. Now, obviously, just you could guess that by the numbers, but I remember this being an important location in how this particular part of the story resolved. Like, once we get inside, I feel like there's a whole thing going on. Okay. Break a leg here for a fast return. Can I just pop that and get rid of it? No, not from that. A shadow was on my spirit. Very good, Black Lodge. Your exploration of the ruins should now be uninterrupted. A word, though, before you try the door again, my friend. Desolat is an ancient place, and some memory of great evil hangs over its stones. I fear that something terrible came from there and would ask you to keep a clear head while you are inside. Examine anything that seems unusual, for I believe that the memory of whatever sorrow hangs about that place will make itself known to you. Learn what you can, but remain wary. Creatures of the dark are drawn to such places, and you may need to defend yourself from them. I will stay on guard out here, watching to ensure that no enemies enter Desolade while you are within. Okay. So yeah, so watch what happens when we click on this brazier. Oops. This is what I always thought was so cool about this area, that it sort of takes you back in time to witness the story. Father, I am frightened. How did I come to be here? I... I do not remember. Do not be afraid, Narmaleth. Should I recognize that name? I will not let them hurt you anymore. Can we actually open these doors? Let's see. Um, no. So we'll click on the urn now. I want you to listen carefully, Sarah. She may not always be herself. She may yell at you or threaten to strike you. Rise not to anger. Narmaleth can be cured of this. I am certain of it. Do you understand? Repeat to me your duties. I am to bring her meals twice a day and water her with which to bathe. I am to treat her kindly but must not give her news of the world outside. I'm not to ask of her past, and she is not to leave her room. Very good, Sarah. The duty is yours. May you hold on to it for as long as your predecessor, for Narmaleth, Narmaleth's sake. Oh, okay, go back. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, because it's not a big deal, I'm just going to go, I guess, pick one. And then I'll see if I can do one of these, because I think it damages all of them. There we go. What is this quest? Defeat Crawler. You know, I should take this because I'm going to be doing this anyway. Okay, so so far we got a story where Laridan 
for love of his daughter, is trying to protect her, is probably doing something horrible that is morally questionable that um, it's going to backfire. <laughs> Brought you some flowers, Narmala. I do not want any flowers. These are so nice. Do you remember in Linden? I said I do not want them. I do not remember Linden. I remember only dark, terrible places. I remember shouting and the clash of swords. Was I in a battle? I remember pain and death. There was a warrior. I cannot see his face. I would trade it all to remember flowers. I will prepare another room for you, my daughter. This one has become unpleasant. Okay. Now, why would he be after? Lairdin, I did not think... What do you have there, Sarah? She's been so lonely, Lairdin, and she asked for books. I thought... Books, I told you most clearly not to do such a thing. I am sorry, Sarah. You did not mean any harm. What happened to her, Lairdin? Why do you keep her locked up like this? My daughter's heart was claimed by shadow. If you were given the chance to bring back one you loved from darkness, would you not take it? Is there not someone who could help you? The elves? I fear what my people might do if they knew Narmaleth still lived. I will tell Mester Elrond when Narmalith has recovered. No more books, Sarah.
So yeah, we have a father whose daughter might be beyond saving, but how do you give up on your child, right? And so he's gone to lengths that um, should not have been gone to, and it's going to probably cost everyone dearly. We know Lairdrin, I think, died in a last stand for us to steal the Palantir. I will eat not the oak heart brings me. I am Amarthiel, the champion of Angmar. Thou cannot keep me here. I did not come here to speak with you, Amarthiel. I came to speak with Narmaleth, my daughter. So she's fragmenting. I am the champion of Angmar, so shall I always be. This must be heartbreaking to see as a father. You are Narmaleth, an elf smith of too great skill, and my daughter. Where is my ring, foolish one? Where is Narquil? You will never see your ring again, Amarthiel. I have sent it beyond your reach. Lies, thou have kept it for thyself, and one day I shall take it from thee. Narquil is beyond your power now, Amarthiel. You will never hold it again. This room, too, has an unsavory air. I will prepare another for you. I will return to see you in three days. Narmaleth is no more. Amarthia will live forever. down. Uh, let me see. Did I miss anything obvious? I, I must have, right? But I just don't know. There's someone there. Hail, Amarthiel, champion of Angmar. Stay away. Father, Sarah! Angmar has missed thee, Amarthiel, our master Baba. It has taken me many years since thou were taken, hidden from our master's sight. But thou remainst his humble servant, dost thou not? Though the daughter of Lairdrin sought to restrain me, I have the greater power. My loyalty is to Angmar, ever and always Amarthiel serves one master. Good. I knew it would be so. In time, we will repay thy jailer sevenfold, Amarthiel. We must move up now with haste. It will please me to extract my revenge upon the elf Lairdin and that crone Oakheart. Oakheart spoke often of her cottage, taunting me with her freedom. When my strength returns, I will see it burnt to the ground and the crone with it. It is better than she deserves, Amarthiel. Welcome to Sithad Black Lodge, the site of thy doom. These walls have not 
have seen much, have they not? I have a message for the doomed man and may give thee joy. We have found Narquil. Goodbye, Black Lodge. We will not meet again. More Drambor. Is that Sarah Oakhart's new name? Is it someone else? I thought that was who Sarah Oakhart became. So they found the ring. So that's not good. Meanwhile, the guy outside had one job. <laughs> it was not to let anybody in. Quickly, pass me the keys and I'll open the gate. Gray is the shadow upon my heart. Black Lodge, are you all right? The Black Numenorian appeared outside Desolade, and I only had a moment in which to hide myself. Were it any other opponent, I would have engaged him in battle, but I could not hope to defeat him without others of my kindred. He came to the door and passed inside, and I followed behind him in secret, hoping beyond hope that I might oppose him in the final need. I shudder to think what he might have done had he known I was here. It was there. Let us leave this place, friend. You can tell me what you have learned as we travel out of the shadows of the sad ruin. So... This is a chapter that I've always really enjoyed in this book quest, and it's not mechanically the most interesting, and you would think it's a game that you should integrate, but there's only so many things an MMO can do, at least an older MMO like this, and so I really appreciate this story beat, the story beat on the hillside where we were mourning the fallen of Anuminas. You know, not mechanically, you know, super engaging, but really well executed, touching, um, lore heavy, you know, narratively important and well done. You know, sometimes it's more important to execute the narrative than to nail every single moment of the mechanics. Sometimes you need a moment that, uh, that really nails the story. And I feel like some of these have done that. So let's talk to... The rangers of Evendim mourn their number slain during Mordrambor's escape from Tinudir. Meanwhile, the Angmarim search the wilderness for Narhuil, the ring of Amarthiel. I fear that Amarthiel has already discovered Narhuil's resting place, and with it, the doom of the North. All right. The secrets of Desolate have been lost to the winds of time. Talk to Callan Death. Okay. I'm just gonna... What do you need? What's happened? Why is your face etched in sorrow? Is anything here worth taking or are we just sort of capped out? Uh, critical rating could be good, but the critical rating is lower. I don't think I can use a hammer. It's two-handed. What about this bracelet? No. This is going to be heavy armor. So what's the most valuable? 10, 3, 12. It's 12. Might you spare a moment of your time? Okay, we're almost at 47. I think the next quest we complete should ding it. Uh, you say that Amarthiel's forces have recovered Naquil. This is terrible news, Black Lodge, and undermines all that we have sought to accomplish. Lord Elrond must be told. Seek for him in the library of Imladris and give him these grim tidings, as well as the diary of Sarah Oakenheart. Oakhart. You will know what can be done, if anyone will. Okay. Yeah, so let's, um... I'm just gonna quickly head out and see if I can find a couple of worms. I think I needed two more to complete that quest. Not that I care that much, or if that it's gonna be enough to actually do anything, but um Yeah, these are the kinds of things I'm looking for, I think. Uh whoop. <laughs> Will these count? Yep, so I just need one more root crawler. There we go. Cool. 
All right. What do we do with that? Okay, uh, War of Three Peaks map table. I don't know what that is. Wow, I've got a lot of quests here. Um... Maybe it automatically hands it in. I have no idea. Okay. Whoops. So with that, let's now head back to... Stable Master and uh, make our way back to uh, Rivendell. Was that a... Oh, a thicket coney. I thought it was a thick coney. I was like, hell yeah. What can I do for you? We actually have... Um, we have rabbits living in our property. Our property, like... You can own nature, but you know what I mean. Um, there's three rabbits. Two consistently sort of graze on our in our backyard and then the third I don't know if they all live in the same like warren or whatever it's called but uh, the third one tends to favor our neighbor's backyard I think the other day I saw two rabbits taking a nap in our backyard there were two chipmunks chasing each other around the far edge of our backyard and then there were two squirrels playing on the base of a tree in our backyard. So it was kind of like um, like a Disney cartoon. <laughs> um, there used to be raccoons that lived under a neighbor's porch. I don't know if they still do. But I remember one winter we were having a, like a terrible amount of snow. We usually don't get a ton of snow in this neck of the woods. But this particular winter, we were getting a stretch of a lot of snow, which meant that the old snow hadn't melted before the new star snow was getting added onto it. And um, in order to help some people out, like I would move our garbage cans to make it easier to collect. And I remember opening the uh, door one day to <laughs> put some more garbage into the can. And um, just a raccoon sitting on top of the can. And he just sort of looked at me and uh, tried to you know, pawed at the uh, at the can a little bit. But just, you know, they they don't they don't freak out. Like the animals don't freak out when somebody's like I was literally like three feet away, two feet away. And uh, just kind of looking at me. I didn't I didn't want to feed it because I know you're not supposed to. But at the same time, I want to feed all of them. There's one squirrel in particular that uh, tends to hang out on our deck <laughs> and uh, break nuts to eat there. Then also, you know, other squirrel stuff. But uh, yeah, sometimes I'll just see him sitting on the rail of our deck looking out over his domain, I guess. Um, what are we doing? Let's see. Book 11, Chapter 13. Hope is not in vain. Your tale fills me with sorrow, Black Lodge. The fall of Narmaleth is a sad tale known by few, and then only in part. Of her imprisonment by Lairdin following the Battle of Fornost, I knew nothing. It grieves me that Lairdin believed I would not suffer uh, Narmaleth to live. Uh, okay, so that's the idea, right? It makes sense. Lairdin just assumed Elrond would want her killed because her heart had fallen into darkness. And there's no way a father would let, you know, would not go to any length to prevent that from happening. Uh, the slaying of a captive is not the way of the Eldar, and she would have been safe in my house, though she remain Armathiel. Was I saying Armaleth? Armathiel. I believe we can guess at the sad fate of Sarah Oakhart, last in a long line of Nar Narmaleth's keepers. I do not doubt she treated her da the daughter of Lairdin kindly, but her payment was doom. And more than that, Amarthiel learned the dark arts from a cruel master, and it seems she took the visage of her jailer for her own, an unhappy fate. I am certain of one more thing, Black Lodge. 
Angmar has not yet recovered Narquil. The ways of the enemy are the ways of deceit. Do not give in to despair. If Narquil had been found, Armarthiel would have, re have recalled her minions, and she has not done so. She may have learned some new information concerning its whereabouts, but her servants have not or have yet to find it. Of this I am sure. We must remain vigilant against them, as always, and continue our search. Okay, this is going to be 47, I think. Here we go. Okay, so that's chapter... That was chapter 13. Oh, that's the end of book 11. Okay. So there we go. We've gotten through book 11. Let's uh, go into book 12. Dark days are coming. Though I believe that Angmar has not yet recovered Narquil, soon they will learn somewhat of its keeping. If not from their long search, but from Laird and himself. Oh, Lam Lam I thought he was dead. Oh, no, no, he was just captured. Okay. The tortures devised by the enemy can mar the mind as well as the body, and Laird holds great knowledge. I would lay this task upon you, Black Lodge. Return to Kalingrad and Evan Dim and ask and seek Laird in. It may be that his time in Middle Earth has already been brought to an untimely end. But I have my doubts against it, for Laredin is strong and willful and would not easily betray his purpose by force. Go quickly to Callan Glad and Evan Dim and find any tidings that you may of Laredin, be they good or ill. All right. Uh, yeah, I think this bulwark, I think that's... Will you lend me your aid once more? I think that's uh, volume two, so we're going to hold off on that. Volume one culminates, I think, in the tale of Sarah Oakenheart. And all the things we're doing here to prevent her complete successful rise to evil. Okay, so I'm looking to get to Kalinglad, which is an Evan Dim. I don't know if I can muster there. Oh, I can. Okay, uh, Kalinglad, he's over here. What do you need? Ale Black Lodge, it's well that you've returned, though it be under such circumstances. Word has come before you, an elf messenger out of the house of Elrond bore tidings that you have come to seek the fate of Lairdon. Greetings. The enemy has not been idle in your absence. A great host has removed to Angmar, or so their trail led that way, for we do not follow them long, believing it to be some trickery or ill deed. Of the fate of Lairdon, I have heard no word. My scouts have reported that a number of Amarthiel's servants have been making furtive movements around Anuminas. Maybe it is that one of them holds a clue to what you seek. Go and defeat the Angmarim that still plague the city of Anuminas. One of them must know something of Lairdon. Okay. Basically, we gotta go kick ass in Anuminas until somebody uh, gives it up. Tells us what we need to know. Um, you know what? While we're here... Uh, provisioner. I was gonna say, there must be somebody here I can sell stuff to and repair. What can I do for you? Okay, sell... Again, I probably should sell the potions because I never use them, but whatever. What am I up to? Up to 27 gold. Okay, money is meaningless. <laughs> now, this Elrond's gift, that might be worth... Can I dip a little bit in fate of fate in vitality but I'm gonna get maximum morale and get instant morale from it and it's gonna give me a boost in armor so where is that necklace it's right there there we go I 
wasn't paying attention to know. Let me just see. Did I? 1614 to 1690. Okay, so I do get a bump in morale because it gives me plus 72 extra. So let's, um, I can't. Let's sell some more while we're waiting. I wonder why there's a cooldown for... Maybe it's something else. Maybe it's the use of it. Let's see, Goblin Town Gem. Nope, don't want that. Definitely don't want that. I think I'm good without that. Let's get rid of this. I'm gonna sell the weed. Probably could get more cutting it up and selling it on the streets, but um, I'm just gonna sell it off in one chunk. Okay, so the thing is where Show locked. What did I sell that was locked? Not, okay. So maybe those armor sets I just can't sell because they're, um, I don't know. Okay, so we got that going. Let's head into Numinas. Um, we're going to go to the Stable Master at King's Crossing. Greetings. You know, with my son off at college, my wife and daughter are, um, I respect that. Away from keyboard, taking in the sights is a sort of an in-game thing to do, so you're not just staring at a wall or something. My wife and daughter are out of town for the next couple of days, and I was trying to think of, like, is there something I could do that might be fun? And something I thought about doing, if I, I, I need to figure this out. I might do, and this is trademark, slow-ass speed run of Dark Souls. Um, just, you know, start it up in the morning and, uh, like, can I finish Dark Souls? I don't know, a sitting or a day, like how long does it take me to do? Just straight run, do the whole thing, stream it, and uh, go from there. You know, figure out like a death counter, see how many times I die in one run. Uh, I think I can do it, usually it's about, last time I played it, I think I did it in about 15 hours, but I was kind of trying to do everything and I was sort of messing around, like trying to collect a bunch of resources in um, outside of Ornstein and Smo. Like, after I beat them, I still hang around there and uh, put down, like, Jolly Co-op signs if you want so I can get some XP, so, uh, souls so I can buy crafting material from the blacksmith there in Anor Orlando and um, stuff like that. But, you know, if I skip that, I'm wondering, like, if I just go for it. Wonder how I how I would do. Plus, now that I'm sort of done with Elden Ring, one of the things I talk about is that um, would I go back to it? And it's tough to say because it's such a massive undertaking that it's not like it's not like you can just get your fix, so to speak. It's such a huge game. Like, if I want that fix, that sort of comfort food fix, I might just go with. Um, with Dark Souls. So what do I need to do? Search defeated Angmarim. Are these the guys? Okay, so they're not even... They're not even going to register. I could just, like, walk right up to them. They're not going to bother me because of my level.
Uh, do I need to actually search them, or is it just gonna... Am I in the right spot? I am. Okay. Yeah, you can see they're so... They're ten levels below me, so they won't... They won't bother me unless I start something. Okay, collected MR Thiel's command, got it. Let's head back to Kalinglad. I actually I'm not gonna lie, I kinda am I'm kind of glad that I've outleveled this just so I'm not gonna get much XP for doing it, but um I'm not gonna get any XP for doing it basically, but at least I can sort of speed through the books, you know, and focus on the story. Now, one of the things I got to figure out with this uh, classic CRPG, I've been watch. I I've checked out some other people that did Let's plays, and they sort of keep them down to like this. Is what, they keep them to like half hour chunks, because then I think like in a half hour chunk you might actually somebody might actually watch the whole thing. But I don't know how much you can actually accomplish in half an hour. When I did my Elden Ring run, like the base game, it was on you know the old Trainwreck channel before this Black Lodge was available. I did them in hour chunks. Again, I don't know if it makes it more watchable. These I've been doing in like four hour chunks. I don't know if, you know, if somebody just leaves it on in the background. And what's the difference between like one hour, half an hour? Like, you know, if you, you know, you can just stop whenever, whenever, either way. But maybe having more videos, like with all that algorithm horse shit. I don't know. When I did Darklands, I would do like an hour, hour and a half or so. But I didn't want these to be like 1,200 videos long, but maybe maybe that's actually better in terms of getting people to watch. I, I don't know. It interrupts my flow, I'll say that. Um, being able to really, you know, play a game for three, four hours like this when I'm able to sneak it in. It's easier now that I've got children that are older. Um, you know, it really lets me get in a rhythm. Let's me enjoy it. Especially a game like Elden Ring, you know, where... You know, if I did an hour chunks, I'd... You know, explore, like, one half of a corner and get through half of a dungeon and then be like, okay, I guess I stop. Greetings. What have you there? Orders from the enemy? This might be of some help. What do you need? Seems there's a chance that Lairdin yet lives. It is well that Lairdin's life has not been squandered at the treacherous hands of the Angmarim, but what have they learned from him? I fear now the folly of allowing the unhindered passage of the enemy out of our lands. But for good or ill, that deed has been done, and now you must make all haste to Barad Tehran with trusted companions, for there lies the last hope of Lairdin. Once his usefulness to the enemy has been served, his life will be forfeit, unless they have some other evil contrived for him. Hurry now to Barad uh, Tehran. My, my scouts have reported to me that most of the Angmarim have removed from that place, and only now a small contingent remains behind to spoil and lay waste, believing in their folly that we will not return. Speak with the. Uh, uh, speak with Forshan. Forkan. Forchan? Forkan when you are ready to leave. Okay. This quest is meant for a fellowship. You choose to take the quest solo, you'll get boosted. Uh, where is... Is he down in Numenas? Or is he over here somewhere? Oh, there he is. Seriously, I know this game is old. But I feel like it just... It does just enough tricks. To, like, that's... That's beautiful. That's Evendim, right? Like, if you grew up reading the books and you see that, like, how can you not be moved by it? 
Are you ready to enter Barad Tehran? Kalingrad bade me lead you unseen into that place. Let's do it. A clue found upon the body of one of the Angmarim reveals that the elf Leodon may still be held at Barad Tiron and Anulinos, where he was captured by Amarthriel's minions. It can only be hoped that he yet lives. Right, right. This is where we did the run and Laird didn't sacrifice himself. Okay. How can I be of service? We've arrived safely, but I fear that the enemy may be close upon our heels. I will hold the gate. Go now and seek Laird and let's do it. Ah, right. They've mostly abandoned. Okay. Signature. Okay, so I gotta actually pay attention. Uh, is that lag or what's up? I feel like that's lag. I'm not sure though. Oh, wait, wait, wait. They boosted me up, so I actually probably don't have to pay attention. I can probably just roll through these guys and just output as much damage as I can. Whoops. I never fired off the last one, so I did that one wrong. Where are we in the... Oh, this instance. Okay. I was hoping to give me a bigger picture within a Numinos. Maybe I can back out of this a little... Nope. Ah, uh, but this is the gate. Okay, so we didn't get in before. So what do you think? Do we save Lairdon? Is it too late? What's a lot of times it's been too late, right? Ein, elite master. Do I have to take this guy on? Twelve thousand level. I mean, I can do it. Ah, fresh blood has finally arrived. I trust a few men left to me were not too troublesome. I was instructed to give you a special message, a token for my mistress. But it has been so lonesome since they took the elf away to Angmar. Oh shit! I must have some amusement before I send you on my way. Let's do this. I wonder if I could take this guy without the boosts. He's got 12,000. He's an elite, but we're not... Well, he's going to do this. Um, we're not so different in level, so that he's going to be blocking most of my stuff. Oh. With the ads, that might have been tricky. Okay, I got enough healing going. Maybe I can get some... Nope. I was going to say, let me get some bleeding going. but Just to chip away at his health. I've gotten the advantage. Like, I'm, I'm not underwater on his HP anymore, but I am underwater when you add in the two behind me. Let's see if I can get a second bleed going. Oh, no. The first one's probably about to end. So let me rebuild that big bleed. second bleed. He's going to go down. All right. Got a bleed going on. Oh. What has happened here? Where's Lairdon? One of Lairdon's knives. We must return this to Calendar. I don't know if you noticed there's a fight going on here, bro. We must leave quickly before our presence is known, Black Lodge. All 
up level 35. A brawler. Oh, interesting. It's one of the new classes where it's just all fist weapons. Since every class is solo soloable, I don't know how much it actually matters what class you play. It's just how you do it, I guess. But um, Laredin lives, but has been taken away. You have learned much that I have feared in my heart already, Black Lodge. That is yet another setback for us to consider. Uh, let's see what we get. Shield's not as good. Knife, again, is sort of hitting that Hitting that wall that I feel like we're not going to break until we get into legendary equipment. Um, what do we got here? Earrings. Uh, critical rating could be nice, but the other two are kind of there and they have vitality. So let's just see what's worth the most. We'll go with the shield. How can I be of service? When you left here in pursuit of Laird and I sought counsel on my own, and I sent ahead scouts led by Gwathryn, one of the greatest trackers left here to my northern company. Go as swiftly as you might to uh, Tarmun Sursa, east of Karn Doom. That is where you should find what you seek. The more urgent is your quest now that is known Lairdin lives. Freeing him would be a mighty blow to the enemy and would hearten those that fight against him. You will automatically travel to blah 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 when you accept this quest. Back in Angmar. Alright. Where are we though? Whoa. Literally right outside. Tomb. Okay, uh, let's see what Gwathrun says. Greetings. Hail, Black Lodge. Callan Glad told me that uh, soon you would follow. It is well that you have come so soon. It was not long before we were able to find the trail of the host that departed Ebendim, for they were many and feared no pursuit. They were many days ahead of us, and we were traveling with all speed back to their cursed... Uh, they were many days ahead and traveling with all speed back to their cursed fortress. Thus they came within sight of its walls before we were upon them, and I saw not the elf laird in. Okay. I sent ahead scouts to spy the movements of the enemy, and I believe that Lairdin may have been taken into Samath Baal. Baul? When the host from Evendim first arrived here, they tarried for a short while, but they have since departed. In their stead, a company of orcs has been brought here to guard Samath Baul. One of my scouts also saw a messenger from Karn Doom who entered into a gatehouse. When he left that place, he summoned the creature Lazu Dirk, and he was called Keymaster, and he gave the messenger access into Samath Duam, a Samath Baul, by the main door. These tidings trouble me that they that the brutal Tarkrip now guard Samath Baul for the Krajarn and the Birds. I recognize that second one as orcs I've been fighting. Uh, they've always been their fiercest fighters and the most trustworthy and faithful to their cause. Otherwise, it's just a bunch of word salad of names I'm like, oh god. I'm forced to pronounce. If you are to enter into Samath Baul unhindered, you must thin the numbers of Tarkrip and obtain the door key. Return to me when you have completed this task and we will strike at the enemy as quick as we may. I must speak to you word of caution. Go warily. Something is amiss, and I know no I know not what plans Amarthiel has for those who oppose her. Using the elf stone allows you to access inspiration. Okay, this is something I always have trouble with. I never get the stone to fire off when I'm supposed to be doing this quest. I've done a couple. So we're already in chapter five. Okay, we're going into the heart of Karn Doom. Uh, do I have the elf stone? Is that something I can just use, or is it something? Yeah, so let's pop that onto. I don't think I can use it yet, no. All right, let's see if we can separate these guys out because they're signatures. Got a bunch of bleed stacked, so I'm hoping it takes care of this guy quickly. And then I can move on to the Arrow Master. Of 
cauterizing seal. Okay, that's new. I don't know what that does. Oops. Let's see if it puts a bleed on him. So usually I can do wall of steel as the max, but now I can go to cauterizing steel. Doesn't seem to put any effects on him, but maybe it just didn't fire off. You found a missing piece. Okay. Hell, even if it just does a bunch of damage, it's fine. I just was curious. Did I get past that one? I did, okay. Fifty-seven thousand. Well, I don't think I could even come close in that, but Okay, making my way. Uh, yeah, a little bit west, a little bit north, and then I'm going in. Interesting wall to wall signatures, but it's not letting me pop the inspiration yet. Yeah, maybe the cauterizing steel, it doesn't do anything, it just adds a little fire bonus damage or something. Okay, so where am I trying to go? Okay, now I gotta cut north. Okay, through that passage.
Whoops. Okay. I walked into that. Can I do a five on this? Nope, it's still Boar's Rush. Okay. Getting there, but still not quite uh, the jailers. Not quite able to pop inspiration. Still no inspiration. Heal up just a little bit because I was felt like I was a little low. Uh, did I kill the jailers I need to? I nope, I need to kill one more. Okay. So we've done this, but uh, recover the Samath Baul key. Still no inspiration. That's an elite with 6,000. Can I get to that door? You know what? I'm going to pop him. Heal. There we go. Um, this is a good place to draw upon the power of the Elfstone. Let's do it. Bumps me up to 7,000. I'm inspired. Do I go in? Oh, here we go. Level 50 Elite. Actually, though, again, at 5,400, I feel like if I had to have taken him solo, I probably could have if I was very careful. With this boost, I'm just going to mow through him. Cover the key. Return to... I'm going to pop this just because I don't want to have to run through all those enemies again that have probably respawned. Although, I really enjoy Angmar, so maybe I should be more accepting of that and just taking it in for the vibe. You have the key, and the Tarkrip numbers have been reduced. We are ready for our assault. 
We must go quickly and in secret, for if suspicion is raised, Lairdon would surely be put to a cruel end ere we could come to his aid. Would you do something for me? Okay, this is another quest meant for our fellowship. I'm friendless and alone. So we're going to get an inspiration bonus. We must hurry for her to save Lairdon. Take what companions that you know to be true and enter into Samath Baul. I know not what you may find in that dark place, but it is the only path left open to us. We're ready. Let's do it. How can I be Are you prepared? Ain, the questioner left behind at Baratiron reveals that Lairdon had been moved from Anuminus and taken to Samath Baul in Anwar. Time is running short on the Elf Lord. Okay. Signatures, so we should be able to mow through these guys. Gross. Oh, interesting. Does the blood leech explode? Oh, interesting. Okay. Can I get that effect off with that? I got one of them off. Okay. High stakes jailbreak. I like this concept for this mission. Got that interrupt off. All right, you know, I, I, like I, I probably said this before. Like when I see other streamers, like you know, Louis Seven before I guess he stopped playing this. 
And I feel bad. There's a new uh, a woman who I've seen stream with him that seems to be doing a lot of content. Aubrey the Weird One or something? I, I feel bad. I, I, but um, I feel like I see them move around a lot when they're... And I can't tell if that's just to have something to do, if it actually makes a difference, like if you're constantly side strafing and blah blah blah, like are you harder to hit if you're doing something mechanically? Angmar and blood letters. Morvin. What is this, more prisoners? Seems you have bested my guards, but that is of little consequence. Were you sent here for the elf? It matters not. You will tell me all that you know before I deliver you to Amarthiel. I think not, lady. I think this is going to go head to head. We're going to take this. And get some bleeds going. Just to whittle down her health a bit. Got two bleeds going. I don't know if this is the third. Yep, okay. So I'm going to do some boar's rush just to hurt everybody. Because you're seeing there's a bunch of people now lining up, so they should all take hits. Oh, there's Lairdon. Nice. Let's get you out of here, brother. Lairdon is nearly unconscious and wounded. He must be taken to Rivendell, to Elrond. For you doubt that he will survive without his aid. Talk to Elrond. All right. You have done great deeds, Black Lodge. Thank you, Master Elrond. Chapter twelve, books. Uh, book twelve, chapter six. I'm gonna rest for a while. Let's see what we got here. We got a necklace. Um, I think I'm gonna keep Elrond's gift. We got a bow we can't use. We got heavy armor we can't use. So we're we looking for value four, eight, ten, twelve. Hope is not in vain. I think I mentioned I messed around a little bit on one of the uh, legendary servers just to see uh, the Mordor, whatever the one is that they introduce 64-bit tech to the back end, and uh, and I was playing a guardian, and like I was saying, it's not as durable as I am with the warden. Maybe it's just because I don't know what I'm doing, but there is something to grabbing all that heavy gear and just going for it. You've done brave deeds that few others have accomplished, and for that you deserve great honor. Lairdon was badly injured and endured long torture, but he sleeps now, though fitful. And often his thoughts turn back to dark places. Terrible woes were taken upon him by his tormentors. I fear that though his body may recover, his spirit may ever lay in anguish from their hellish tortures. Often now Lairdon calls out in his sleep to Narmalith and to Elbereth, and he is always searching for the ring Narquil. But now trouble and doubt has taken me, for in his most troubled dreaming he cries aloud, claiming that the ring Narquil is close at hand, and only in haste will it be recovered. Whether this is in truth some secret taken from the enemy in their folly, or whether it is yet another deceit of Amarthiel, you must learn the truth. Lairdin has spoken of a place, Arad Durgul. Seek out the Dunedan Gwathrin and recover Narquil. Going back. All right, new quest, book 12, chapter 7. We're powering through uh, book 12 here. Is this guy an enemy? Oh, no, he's a defender. Okay. Black Lodge, you've returned sooner than I expected, though I doubted not that you would at last return. Do I choose one now? Well, I mean, I guess if that's all chapter 7 was, I guess, yeah, of course we're going to speed through it. Uh, the name Barad de Durgul is not unknown to me. It was one of the places my scouts first observed. At first it seemed that it was guarded by great watching stones, but it was not so, for the watching stones lie silent, and they have no power over the minds or friend or foe. You should seek out news of these stones, for I believe that the enemy may be trying to draw us into a trap, not unlike the Ramas Deluan. Doubtless the Angmarim gate wards outside of Barad Durgul are waiting for our assault, before snapping the door shut behind us. Learn what you may, then return here to me. 
Okay. Where are we going? Okay, so it looks like we're going even deeper into Karn Doom. We're going to follow the path we did before. We got to the gatehouse, and now we're going to go beyond that. Uh, there is no elf stone. This is just on us. Um... Now, Runaleth seems... Would you lend me a moment of your time? Defeat Drake Queen. Just wondering if there are quests we could take here, since we're in there anyway. Like, kill 12 of this or kill 7 of those. Uh, first and foremost, let's... Repair and sell. Uh, let's see, black resin, nope. Let's see. Make in progress, I guess. What's this? 22. I like the idea of one handed hammer. I like hammers for my characters for some reason. I think I've mentioned that multiple times, but slight dip in damage, so we'll trade it off. Uh, let's see. Now we've got, um, shields... Yeah, no, it's not as good. Okay. Okay. All right. Um... So we've cleaned out our inventory. Sort of done that. Let's, uh... There's another quest here. Let's just see if it's something... Defeat trolls? Nah. Again, I feel like I should be taking some of these because at some point maybe I will be behind the curve on levels again. Now, if I were a burglar, this would be an awesome quest, because I could just go into stealth mode, and uh, everyone would be none the wiser. I don't know if wardens quite do that, or if they can just make a little bit of progress with stealth. I feel like I... Okay, we're gonna get back to the junction and head left. I took a wrong turn. Although it was a nice view in a way. See, I don't know if I can get past these guys. Careful step. Does careful step run out? Yes, it does. Okay. So maybe that's the trick. That's why. It's not that I'm getting spotted. It's just that I'm running out of time.
Okay. Uh, yeah, I checked the map a second ago, but okay, so I still gotta do a couple of more. I don't think there's a I don't think there's a quick shortcut way of like jumping down a ledge and breaking legs. I think you gotta make your way through. Can I get over this? Oh, still alive. Huh. Lost track of me, but still alive. All right. Okay. So now we're trying to continue and then hook right. So I think I want to go over there. Wondering if I can Okay, I'm focusing on healing because I was, they weren't going down quite as fast as I hoped, but there we go. Let me see if I can get rid of one of those effects. Uh, hmm. This is the wrong direction. What about... I'm gonna clear these two guys out just so I can look around a bit. Got the interrupt off there, that's good. Okay. Did I get turned around? Did I go the wrong way? Where am I? I feel like I want to keep hooking this way and then... There we go. That's, that's the trick. I'm trying to be a little more careful because I feel like I don't want to take this for granted because if, if so, that's when it's going to just get overwhelming and kill me. So I'm sort of focusing a little bit more on, you know, how's my morale doing? Or usually if I were just running around, I'd be blabbing like an idiot. And, um... Okay, so which way now? I think we have to cut left. Just because we're going so deep into Karn Doom, I'm a little, a little nervous. Especially now that we're going to start hitting signatures. Oh no, this one's normal now? Is that maybe because they're not part of the quest? OK. 
Okay. Uh, okay, so now we need to head south. Crap, that's an elite. How bad. Um, okay. Can I careful step through? Probably should have got closer. That didn't work. Okay. I'm gonna go into healing mode because I don't know how many are gonna jump me and if that elite master gets in on the deal then I'm screwed. Ready to go, and I blew it. Okay, so we're trying to go south. What's throwing me off is that I don't know. Do I have to keep going? Did I screw something up? That's the question. Like, can I go forward and then left? Maybe that's the deal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guy out. So I feel like I'm going to get double teamed by the two at the top of the ledge. One of them being an elite that's going to get ugly fast, so I want to make sure I don't accidentally bring this guy into the fight either. i clear off any effects that I have. Can I get this Doom Spinner to pull without the Poisoner? I'm gonna kill this guy quick. Get some bleeds going on him just so he dies. Now I'm gonna go back to this guy and focus on healing. Get a three up, maybe do a two just so I've got a couple stacked and then go for a longer one. Okay, so the bleed did take the other one out. So it's just a one-on-one. -on -one. I'm still underwater by quite a bit. But I'm chipping away gonna bring back defensive strike boost up my get the full heal and then maybe do a couple short ones maybe three and a four finish with the three two uh the two let me get another bleed going because i feel like i've got some heals stacked go for the long bleed just to chip away go back to healing Maybe get another heal, uh, another bleed going. That other one was, because now I'm not underwater anymore, so I feel a little more confident. Just pour on the damage, finish him off. There we go. Samath Baul. Here we go. We're going in. Uh, is this where I want to go, though? Okay, so somewhere I missed the trail to go south. So let's head back out and see if I can lock on to that.
There we go. Never fired off the last gambit, so again, my is a mess going in. I think I'm gonna have to take this guy. Now imagine doing this quest in the old days, and then you didn't have these mithril tokens to get you out. You actually had to then make it all the way back. I appreciate that on some level. I don't know if I'd really want to do it this stage of my life, but um, alright, let's see if we can do this. I'm gonna get I'm gonna go straight into healing now. Since I'm dealing with three signatures, it might as well just be one elite. <laughs> Nope, screwed that up. Okay, I've got some, again, I've got some healing stacks. I'm going to go for a big bleed, but hopefully finishes him off. Okay. So we're in the area. We have to collect watching stone orders. How do we do that? Defeat the gate wards of the Angmarim and learn what you may... Okay. Maybe the gatekeepers? So yeah, I mean, this is what comes up when it's like collects orders. So I think, do we just farm these guys until one of them coughs it up? I don't want to mess with the Duvardain Seer. Or is it one of those things where if I just pick it up and I'm good? Okay, I got it. All right. Or anything else? Nope. Bring the. I've silenced the watching stones. They are to remain as such as long as the lady wishes. Quick passage into Barad Durgul. 
failure will result in severe punishment. Any hindrance of the study of Narquil will draw personal attention from the lady herself. How can I be of service? This news bring me, brings me hope, for it is true. Oh, sorry. For if it is true, then we have indeed found the location of the ring Narquil. If Elrond half-elven believes that you should be the one to recover it, I will not gainsay him. Stay a moment. Chapter 9 of 12, we're really moving through. Uh, Barad Dragul awaits. If we are to recover Narquil from the hands of the enemy, it will take more than your courage alone. Again, reminding me that I'm friendless. You need to gather allies. Uh, I'll send Narquam ahead to scout the way. You should seek him out as soon as you enter into Barad Dragul. When you are ready to leave, come and speak with me. I'm ready. Let's do it. Actually, you know what? Um, let me check the map real quick, see where we're going. Okay, I guess it's not on the map. Uh, I was hoping just to see how far in we were going. Because sometimes when you get into an instance... Yeah, because you can't actually see once you're in. Okay. Uh, am I boosted? Yes. So let's wreck these guys. All right. <laughs> that guy. What is Goyogalon doing in the tower? Goelogon. I don't think I landed anywhere near the right pronunciation for that one. Oh, I keep forgetting about shield up, yeah. I do the double thing to get shield up, but... I'm not exactly sure what shield up does. Does it give me... Am I seeing anything? Ready blade incoming melee damage. Okay, so that helps a little bit. All right. So a couple of those guys are taking over 1,100 points of damage. I wonder 
how that's determined. Uh, position myself over here just so I can bull rush the whole bull roar the whole group or boar's rush sorry There's also a big difference between uh, fist shield fist, whatever that combo is, and going one more to the boar's rush. Goyle, Goylegon. I'll go with that. Elite master. Goylegon. Uh, the other whelp has arrived. Oh, the other whelps. Okay. My mistress will be pleased when I bring her thine head. She keep using the plural to make me feel bad. After I have dealt with thee, I will not be troubled in the search that remains. Come, come, thou canst join the craven fool who dared trespass upon Barad Durgul. Start with a bleed. Um, just to chip away the damage so I'm not quite so underwater. Got three stacked. You can just see the damage melting off with the bleeds and the and the attacks, wall of steel, stuff like that, but just holy crap did that just go down. Okay. Now I saw the ghostly something going on in the background. I don't know if that was gonna turn into more, but I defeated him or if it was something else going on. Half of the Ring of Narquil. Oh, who's this guy? Corpse of Narakam. You have found Narakam, and it appears that he has been dead for some time now. You should give him a proper burial and then return to Gwathrin. Just kicking him off the ledge. How can I be of service? This is a sad day for me, Black Lodge. How many more of my brethren must die ere the end? It is easy to lose heart, but be glad, for we have wrested a great power from the hand of the enemy this day, even if it is not truly what we sought. All right, so we got 39. Nope. 48. With some vitality. I'm probably going to go there. Nope. Again, capped at that damage. So let's go with the with that pauldron or whatever. Uh, let's actually equip it before I forget. I think this is it. 48 boost in vitality. We're at 1690. We're at now 1754. I like it. Oh, whoops. Would you, do for me? you must not tarry here long, though your presence comforts me in my grief, for you possess something that the wise must take upon themselves as a burden. Make haste to Rivendell, and do not forget Narukam in, in your tale, for his deeds should be accounted among the valiant in these dark times. All right. Okay, um, book 12, chapter 10, which I think means we must be getting close to the end of book 12. I imagine book 13 will be discovering the other half of the ring. Although I wonder, like, if you have half the ring and there was a way to properly destroy it or do something... Does the other half even matter?
hope is not in vain. So, our quill has been broken. This is strange news indeed. I was right to doubt that the enemy had recovered their full strength, but this... It is something that had not entered in my councils before now. Not, belong, not long before you arrived, Lairdon awoke from his dark dreams. He must be questioned about this, for surely he had some knowledge of it. He has studied the ring Narquil and the deeds of Amarthiel more closely than any among the wise. A council of elf lords must be called and doom proclaimed, for we must decide what will be done with the ring Narquil. Dark days are coming. Are you ready? I will call together the elf lords and the council will begin. Would that the wisdom of Lord Celeborn and Lady Galadriel were at our disposal. Elrond Half-Elven has called a council together to determine the fate of Narquil, the Ring of Amarthia, and to question Lairdon concerning his former captain. Come forward, the fate of the Ring affects you as well. Lairdon, will you now give a full account of your deeds concerning Narquil? <laughs> Would you force the tale for me? I believed I was free of such torment. I need to... But it matters not. The ring Narquil will never be remade. Seems like we should be out in the clear then. You are among friends, Lairdon, and we must know the full account. Very well. It was before the broken gates of Fornos that I took the ring from Amarthiel. In my haste, I broke it upon the anvil of Dringond, mightiest of the forges of the Dunedain. Broken yet not destroyed. Indeed, breaking the ring did not remove the malice crafted into it. I escaped with Narmaleth to Sithad, but still the ring held sway over her. Before she could be cured, she was discovered by the enemy. Mordoreth returned her to Karn Doom, but the halves of the Narquil remained hidden. Hidden. How then did the enemy recover this half of the ring? Long were the tortures I endured in Samath Ba'ul, but in the end I revealed what they sought. That for long years, half the ring lay hidden in Bare, uh, Therkir. And where now lies the other half of the ring? It was in the keeping of my friend, Ariel, mighty among the ship captains of Círdan. Alas, he perished in the rescue of Arverdui. The ring half he bore is now lost to icy northern waters. We were headed into Forest Shell. If only I had not broken the ring. Well, no, but then the enemy might have... I don't know. I don't know which is worse. Were it still whole, I could turn its power to curing my Narmaleth. Oh, okay. I see. Laird and my friend seek not for the ring Narquil. It cannot ease your sorrow. You will never see Narmaleth free of that evil that consumes her. And what do you know of grief? This is the thing, right? Like, what would a parent not do for their kid? For too long you have sat there in splendor and it has made you soft. Are you content to watch all of Eriador fall into ruin? I am not. I take it upon myself this oath. That I should not find rest or peace until my Narmaleth is returned to me. By the name of Elbereth, I swear it.
If Elrond half-elven refuses to aid me, I must then rely upon two other folks. <laughs> Master Elrond, will you allow this departure? Laird is a guest, not a prisoner. Still, I am filled with unease at his words. I fear that his oath will only lead to sorrow. Oh, is Gandalf there? Oh, yeah. And what other counsels, I wonder, were revealed in his torment? All right. So there you go. I mean, that's the thing. You tell a father, hey... You know, tough shit on your kid being ruined. Um, I know you think the ring can help, but we're not going to let that happen. And he's going to be like, no, screw you. I'm out. I'm going to make that happen. The council cannot continue without Lairdin. I will speak with you privately in my library. Elrond Halfelven sent emissaries to Evendim to learn the fate of Lairdin. The search led from Anuminas to Samothbao and Angmar where Lairdan was rescued, and more was learned of the ring Narwi. Amarthil's forces now march into the frozen wastes of Forokel, where the heroes of the free peoples must follow. Oh, Forokel. Okay. Again, I, I don't know how to say any of this. Uh, let's talk to Elrond. Imagine this is going to be the start of uh, Book 13. Once more. I'm troubled, not only for the fate of Narquil, but for Lairdin as well. He has faced many hardships, but because of his boldness, the enemy has not been able to recover Narquil, and for that he has drawn their wrath. But that does not excuse his words at the council, and his actions have troubled me. His anger is hot within him, and I will not seek to make another council as of yet. Return to me when his heart has cooled, for it is fitting that, he, uh, that the one who gave him his freedom should be his emissary. Let's see what we got. Okay, we got a slight bump in armor. Uh, bumps evade and maximum morale. So I'm going to get a little more vitality. What's this one do? I'm going to go with the higher agility. I think I'd get more morale with the ladder, but... Maybe the other stats help out more than I realize. Correction, they definitely help out more than I realize because I don't understand how any of the mechanics work, but. Okay, we're at 1.1841. Let's see what we go up to. Uh, did it do it? Yeah, okay. Well, whatever. Uh, book. Do, 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 do. Okay, yeah, book 13. Not in vain. The last days have been disturbing. The Council of Narquil did not end as I would have chosen, but I will not deny Laird in the quest he desires. I fear, however, that he may depart Rivendell upon a rash course. Will you speak with him for me? Learn what course he intends to take in his purpose. I do not believe that Narmaleth will ever be recovered, for a dark power dominates her mind. I sense the influence of a power greater than a single minor ring. You will find Lairdin in his quarters on the lower floor of my house. With your aid, I hope Lairdin will use greater wisdom in his choices. All right, so, hmm. We've done book 12. We're into book 13. We've been going now for a little while. Um, let me go check in with Lairdin, but I think we're going to come to a pretty decent stopping point now that we've wrapped up book 12. Not sure where to go. Uh, first floor. Hall of Fire, guest chambers. It might be guest chambers. Yeah. Since we're here, let's just 
get this started. Oh, so okay, so we've got Dread going on. So he's he's turning evil. It's um he might be a bit lost. You would know what course I have chosen to take very well. I told the council that Narquil will never be reforged. But I believe that my own words may have been hasty. I do not believe now that the ring sank within uh with Arvidui in the ice bay of Forakal. One of the ship's crew knew of Narquil and his power. I do not think he would have allowed such an heirloom of my house to sink into the sea. For that reason, I will myself return to Forahel and seek the ring. You may attend me if you wish. Then perhaps Elrond's concerns will be lessened. Mind my words, traveler. The last homely house is fast becoming a prison to me. I do not feel welcome here. Yet on the other hand, I do not feel right leaving it just yet. I fear if I leave these halls, I will never return. And I would not leave in such bitterness. Perhaps you would take up my search until such a time that I can leave here in good conscience. Conscience, I know a dwarf who trades in the southern reaches of Forahel. Perhaps he might have some insight as to where you should begin the search. You can find Dathi at Quapa Kota in Tuar, Tuar, Tower, sorry, Tower Orthon. He knows more about Forahel, Forahel, if such could be said about anyone than I. Okay. So we're heading to Forakel. Um, now Forakel, I think I, I thought I unlocked some fast traveling option there. I thought I made the trip up into the some area of that part of the map. So let's go to let's go to the stable masters and see if. There's a quick way to get over there. Yeah, we're heading all the way up here. So Evendim to Forakel. Okay, so if we can get to Evendim, that might be a start. I can get to Evendim because I can muster there. Okay, let me just clear these. Uh, Doom of the Angmarm. That's kind of a nice one. Watchers of Rhodes. Champion of the Lone Lands. The Merciful. Enemy of the Dead. Ward of Justice. Troll Slayer. Bane of the Barrows. Hero of the North Downs. Okay. Doesn't matter. Uh, deed completed, sure. Great Can I get to Forachel? Forachel. No. Can I get to Osferod? And will that get me to Forachel? And if that doesn't work, then I'll just, I'll just, uh, head up there myself. So as fat uh, as what felt like as slow as 46 came, 47 seems to be moving pretty quickly. Um, where is, there we go. Over halfway through. How can I be there we go. Uh, where am I going? Kaupa Kota. And I think that's an option right here. I'm going to take the slow road because I you know, just haven't officially 
I mean, I know I've made the trip there, but let's just uh, enjoy the sights. Sort of one last-ish time. Shove off. Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to be coming back to Evendim for a while. I think a lot of... I remember the first time I dinged 50 with my first character, which was the champion. I did it in Forakel, so it's probably doing book quests. And then I remember it was before um, any expansions came out. So... I just kind of stopped at the time because I was like, well, if I can't gain experience, you know, why should I continue with the story? I should hold off and uh, wait for Moria and uh, see what happens then. Because I don't think I was done with the book quest. I think I just dinged 50 in the middle of it. So this will be nice to be able to, uh, to see it through without having to stop. I think I've done... Um, I definitely did the book quest with my main warden, which is at 86, 88, something like that. I don't know what I was doing with my burglar. I think the burglar was on a... I feel like the burglar is like mid-50s in Moria. But I don't know if I was absolutely vigilant getting all the book quests done. Or if I was just like banging out levels as needed. I, but don't you, maybe you have to do book quests to get to Mori, but yeah, I think you can just like skip around. Like, I could skip to volume two now, I think, if I just talked to Elrond and got it started. So maybe I did something similar with the burglar, because I don't recall doing some of the Forakel stories. But I think once we get to the next place, we're going to wrap it up. Uh, we'll call this session. Feels like it's a good chunk of time. Uh, that way I can get some food, my voice, give it a rest a little bit. Uh, there's a small chance I might be recording something with Matt tonight, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, depends on scheduling on my end. Matt, uh, Matt's available. We were trying to record something last night. We couldn't quite make that work. Patrick's out. Uh... I'm hoping I'm good to go tonight, but there's a small chance I'm not. I'm still waiting to find out, et cetera, et cetera, yada, yada, yada. So we'll see how it goes. Forakel? But yeah, you know, I'll, I'll start signing off. You know, like this has been Black Lodge Trivia Night. If you're watching this, you found our YouTube channel and we appreciate it hope that you've enjoyed another chapter in the Lord of the Ring book quests. If you like this kind of stuff, if you like the actual plays, if you like the RPG discussion podcast that we do, you know, go ahead and like and subscribe if you want. If not, you know, again, we just appreciate you checking it out. If you prefer, if you prefer audio versions of the actual plays and the discussions, just search for Black Lodge Trivia Night wherever you get your podcasts and we should show up there. If you want to chat CRPGs, but mostly tabletop RPGs and the like, jump into our Discord. That um, should be on the channel page somewhere. And, um, yeah, I, we were, we had a little run there where we were trying to get games organized on the Discord, and that fell apart a little bit last spring when one of the games I was running had to be paused because of, uh, a death in the family, so hopefully we can get that back going. But, um, yeah, you know, and again, at the time of this recording, we're entering spooky season. We're trying to do some liminal horror. We're trying to do Eat the Reich, Cold War espionage, prepping some Delta Green, which I'm really excited for when that comes up. Um, I don't think I've ever played Delta Green. I've listened to some actual plays over on um, Alcoholic Adventure Cabal, but that was not Delta Green. That was the fall of Delta Green, the gumshoe version of it. So either way, I'm kind of curious to see what Matt has in store. He's got some adventures lined up there. And, um, yeah, just a lot of good, in my mind, a lot of good RPGs going on in, on the feed. So hopefully there's something there that appeals to you. Um, I continue to really love this, so I, you know, appreciate everybody who sticks, sticks around for this one as well. These book quests, you know, they're just, I have vague 
memories of the big picture, I do not recall the little details. And so it's nice to get to see them one more time. I may have said this before. I don't know if I were ever to do an alt, if I would ever be this methodical about the book quest. There's the dwarf we need to talk to. Um, but yeah, this area in particular is, is a, I keep saying this one's a favorite of mine. There's so many favorites of mine, but this area, especially once you get, um, into the, uh, the, the area to the North, you get the, um, Northern lights, so to speak. You get, uh, it's just beautiful and it's a lot of fun to quest spectacular views because I've always, I think I've said this I, I've always enjoyed um, locations that were snowy wintry I winter I love winter and uh, any games any RPGs that allow you to explore in that kind of environment I'm in so we'll see how this goes um, we'll pick this up next time even even this part you know is, is beautiful but uh, yeah so yeah we'll pick this up next time we'll can we'll really dive into book 13. 14, I think, is up here as well. Maybe we'll be able to get into both of those. And uh, that might be getting close to wrapping up Volume 1. We'll have to see. So if my math and memory are correct, the next session might see the end of uh, Volume 1. So thanks again. Take care. And uh, we'll talk again soon. Bye-bye.